Hey, hey we're, we're against the current, current, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Against the Current. Yo. Hello. Hi. What's up? How are you three doing today? Good. 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 Stoked for a dope show in Canada. Ooh, yeah. Toronto welcome back tonight. to Toronto. Yeah. Hey. Hey. A dope show, eh? Let's thank you for catching up with us today. We're so yeah. excited to be doing this. Yeah, for sure. We're excited. Round two. Round two. Round two. Well, there's one major difference since round one, and that is that your debut record, In Our Bones, is officially out. Yeah. Yes. How does that feel? Even when you said, yeah, it's like a release, like you're so yeah. excited. Because <laughs> it took us so long. Like, yeah. we've been a band for almost six years now. So, like, uh, since 2011. So, like, to finally have our debut record out, it's just like... <laughs> and like it's also kind of weird too because we've done so much and then we're talking about like this is our first record ever and, and like people are like wait really like, yeah but you've done like you've been touring so much and it's like yeah yeah we have <laughs> <It's true. laughs> so we're really excited about it. like this is our sixth time in toronto we figured out earlier and it's our first time with an album so kind of crazy <laughs> so we're excited <laughs> Well, a big theme for this record was wanting to inspire people to go after their passions, go after what is in their bones. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Why did that? Yeah, we don't even the, have You're one of the first what people to nail it. What am it? I here for? Like, what? <laughs> that was, She's <laughs> out. <laughs> That's perfect. Why did that feel like the perfect theme to tackle on your debut record? It's just what we're doing. Yeah, it's, it's what, it's kind of just what our whole mentality about this has always been. It's just... You know, when we tried to explain to people uh, why this was working and why we were able to tour so much without a record and why we got to where we were so quickly and stuff, it was something that was like, you know, we can't explain it. It's not something that was like we knew what we were doing really because we didn't have any idea what we were doing. We still don't really have any idea what we're doing. <laughs> but it's just something that's kind of so natural to us and like this feeling and what we do and just doing it in general is something that we feel has just literally been born into us like from the very start. And uh, we just kind of discovered it in ourselves along the way. So, yeah, it's something that we didn't we didn't find and pick up somewhere. It was just always there. Well, have you had fans talk to you about that inspirational aspect at these shows now that the debut is out? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sure. awesome. I mean, that's exactly what we want. We believe everyone has something, you know, whether it, it's music or anything, you know, like art, art related. Uh, you know, you just got to find it. Science. Science. Math. Maybe you want to be a chemist. Mad it scientist. Could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, seriously, it's like that. That's a thing. We've had so many people who have like come up to us and been like, "You've inspired me to, you know, do this or go out there and chase my dream with this or like, tr you know, pick up this instrument." And you know, it's it's that's all we could really hope to do. It must so. feel pretty gratifying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, because that's how we got here from from bands that you know inspired us. So it's yeah. really cool to pass that pass that along. Right. In celebration of the album, I created a little game. Ooh. So I'm going to games. say a word, and if you happen to like the word, you say, in our bones. And if you don't like it, then you just go, nah. Okay. Okay? okay. Ready? Got it. Think you got the rules? Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> All right, the first one, dancing. Nah. N nah. I want to say in our bones, but I'm not good at it. Like, but I like dancing. It doesn't matter if you're okay, good at it. Okay, in our bones. Okay, fireworks. Oh, in our bones. Yeah. I'm a big pyro. Nah. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, in our bones, yeah. I guess. I don't <laughs> you don't have to. You? I mean, be 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 yourself. I mean, I don't. Shoot felt like off. you were a natural nah shoot there. I don't them off uh, permanently. I, I don't. I, I, permanently. I, uh, that wasn't the word. I'm, I just woke up. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a close up on Dan's puffy eyes? He just woke yeah. up. <laughs> but, How about yeah. cookies? In, in our, our bones. bones. Nah. Oh, roller coasters. Dan's not, I'm not a sweets. dessert person Got at it. all. What about roller coasters? In our bones. Nah. In our bones, yeah. Except for I don't like wooden ones. Yeah, yeah true, this, true. This. They're too wooden tough on the neck. Nah. <clears throat> what? Yeah, they're too I'm tough on the neck. They're really like this yeah, the whole they're, time. They're tricky. Those are sketchy. I like. I only like roller coasters at like Disney or Universal, like ones that I trust, you know? Like people don't die there. And I feel like those ones are <laughs> just like, do. they're just better because they're not just trying to make you like throw up. Yeah, they have they like cool themes to, and yeah, stuff. They want you to have a good time. I like those ones. Yeah, for sure. Coffee. In our bones. Yeah, in our bones. bones yeah. Oh, when you all... No, you all agreed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, didn't, I, I thought you were saying that. You weren't expecting coffee. that. Hey, if this was... A, actually, if this was a year ago in our last interview, I probably would have said nah. I oh. like, recently just started drinking coffee. But okay. it's the one. It's great. It's great. Good stuff. <laughs> Emojis. In our bones. Yeah. In our bones. In our bones. I feel like they're so <laughs> crucial now. It's like... Yeah. I have like a... I used it's like, like the like alphabet. three or four of them, but that's yeah. it. Snow. In our bones. In our bones. Yeah. Sushi? In, in our, bones. our boners. <laughs> <laughs> I love sushi. <laughs> Tell me how you feel. 
I get Randy <laughs> for sushi. Randy. <laughs> Randy, <laughs> baby. PG-ish. Yeah. Ish. PG-ish. <laughs> Emphasis on the ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about beer? In, In our bones. If it's, if it's GF, man, I'm there. I've actually, got, like, I used to not like beer at all. Like, if you asked me this a year ago, I would have mm-hmm. said no. But, like, recently I discovered that there are other beers other than, like, can light beers. So I started, like, drinking, like, like trying different like good beers and I was like ah good beers are good but like, yeah, <laughs> I like this like it is a thing <laughs> I'm still um, on that path where I'm trying so many different things and can't find the one I like yet yeah. so you're gonna have to tell me which ones gotcha. you like afterwards yeah I mean we went to Ireland I actually really like liked Guinness a lot okay so I like it because it was like kind of like a milkshake like it had like the foam at the top <laughs> yeah. and it was like creamy it's good I'm gonna have to try that because yeah. I have nothing wrong with milkshake yeah it was good <laughs> So you're now on the Inner Bones World Tour, as we mentioned, back in Toronto tonight. Yes. How are you enjoying your time on the road? Great. Been great. Just started for the North American. Yeah, I just started this this yeah. part. We did like Asia and Europe, and that was a lot of fun. And um, felt like we were back in Europe yesterday because we were in Montreal and everything was in French. One <laughs> just so woke sure. up and it was like, <laughs> oh, what happened? Like, are we in Europe? But yeah, so it's been it's been awesome for the two days that we've done so far. It must be great having this new material because before I remember you guys telling me you used to perform shows and people would know what to expect, which songs. Now since you have a much bigger discography, you can actually be like, oh, what are we going to mix up tonight? So what's it been like putting the set list together? It's been uh, been hard because now there's so many choices. Yeah. Um, But it's nice to be playing new music after like three years of the same songs over and over again. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, now I'm finally sick of that one. I can add some new stuff in. Well, going back to those fan encounters, have there been any bizarre ones on the world tour? Um, I mean, the girl in Singapore that gives us the coffee as soon as we get off the plane. Starbucks, specifically. The Starbucks, as soon as we get off the plane, was still there. <laughs> the Americans need their Starbucks. Yeah. They'll be cranky. They're just, like waiting at the gate. <laughs> they don't get it. come out and then We had just like ready. a crazy meet and greet in the Philippines that was like public and like just, I don't think security was ready for it. And we just like got like tackled and like oh. it was like crazy. It was pretty insane. Yeah. It was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, three times the size of the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, it was because it was like free and it any was, show like, ever. It was just like <laughs> the meet and greet itself was like obviously like you bought the meet and greet, but like the it was in a mall, so like anyone anybody could, watch, could come up. Okay. Like anyone could watch. Like there was a, a roped off area where the people who like would come up to meet us, but then everyone was around it and it was like multiple stories and there was all people. And then when they knew we were about to leave, we had like this little like tent in the middle of the mall. And then we were just like in our tent and we were ready to leave. And to get to the edge of the mall, we had to go through like, and it was just like, they had like mall security like holding hands, like trying to hold the kids back. <laughs> but as soon as we all went individually, as soon as we would start going in, it just collapsed and it was just like, I felt like we, I was just like, I was like trying to part the seas, but it wasn't working. Like, it was a little scary. Sea did they, of children. Did they get their stuff together finally and everything settled down a bit? Uh, uh, we, we just escaped. Oh, yeah, so you, you didn't you do really the, couldn't No, it was after better. the meet and greet oh, okay. that happened. Yeah, during the meet and greet it was fine. Like they had like they had everything controlled, but then it was after the meet and greet where they all knew how we were gonna get out, so they were all waiting there. There's only one way out. Yeah. Run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was truly a run. We like, like, yeah, my security guard like had tunnels. His, yeah, my security guard had like. His head, his hand on the back of my head the entire time, keeping my head down. He's like, and then when we got to the end, he's like, "Sorry, I was pushing your head down." They were trying to grab you, your hair, and I was like, trying to keep. I was just, <laughs> Don't grab anything. Yeah. I'm glad you made it out. Yeah, they like who the, did they pull you down by your backpack or was it Dan? Oh uh, well, yeah, well they told me to put my backpack in front of me. I don't know. Oh. I feel like you were the trial maybe. Because yeah. <laughs> after you went, they're like, yeah, put your backpack in front of you. I was like, oh yeah, great, I'm gonna Dan look so had, stupid. Yeah, Dan had his backpack <laughs> on his back and they were like pulling him down by it. Yeah, I appreciate you sharing that traumatizing story. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. Before this tour, you released some really cool covers, everything from Taylor Swift to The Killers. But if you could yeah. have any artist put their spin on an Against the Current mm. song, mm. who would you love to see do so? Good question. Thank you. We haven't actually gotten that one ever. Yeah, that is a good question. Maybe like a, maybe like a rapper or someone. That would be, be cool. Interesting. Fetty Wap. I yeah. love <laughs> Fetty Wap. Oh my god. I live for my boy Fetty. That'd be interesting. He's from New Jersey, like I am. I'd like to see Kid Rock cover. Yeah, yo, oh, Kid Rock. Cool. Kid Rock cover What's Gravity. On? Nice. <laughs> I think. Wait, an, uh, Breaking Benjamin maybe? Oh yeah, that'd be great too. Breaking Benjamin covering Blood Like Gasoline. Yeah. Oh wow, well, that's baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. That was good. That'd that was good. That was good. Be good. Let's just wrap everything up. Is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who'll be viewing the interview? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Check thanks, out a record. Thanks for bringing us back to Toronto for the sixth time and for waiting so long for us to put our record out and actually coming and seeing us when we put our record out. 
I'm really excited for the show tonight. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. I mean, when you see this, the show will already happened. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm assuming it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's hope it's going to, I'm expecting it to be awesome. Cool. Oh, don't. Yeah. Now there's pressure. Put low expectations <laughs> and high hopes. <laughs> it's going to be decent. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for doing this round two with us today. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. See you for round three. Ooh. Ooh.